Hello and welcome to another YZL Short. In this episode, I fancy taking a little day trip to find out how much and what type of ticket I would need to be able to go from Manchester to one of three destinations. For this, I'm going to use the National Rail website where I can enter my starting location, ending location, click on go, and then find out those prices. First thing I'm going to need to do, I will of course need the URL and I'll need to open up a copy of Power Automate. Next, I'm going to go down to Browser Automation. I'm going to launch a new copy of Chrome. And the initial URL I would like to go to is the National Railway. I'm going to click Save. Now I need all of the details from the Excel document. So go down to Excel. We want to launch Excel. We don't want any old blank document, we want a specific document. So I'm going to navigate through and grab my train destination file, open that up, and I want to make it visible. Whilst you're actually running it, you'll want it not visible, but while you're testing it, you'll want it visible. I'm going to click save on there. Next thing I want to do is I want to capture the data that's inside of that. So I'm going to go down to Excel, and I'm going to read the data from the Excel worksheet. I don't want a single value. I don't want values from a range because I haven't actually named it. Would have been a good idea. I'm going to go for all available values in the worksheet. In there, it's going to give it a brand new name. Excel data is absolutely fine. And in advanced, I'm going to go to first line of range contains column names, which is true because in here I do have those table headers. Click on save. I want to do something to each row in here. And to know how many rows I've gone over, I'm going to need a variable to keep track of that. So under variables, I'm going to go down to set a variable. And I'm going to set my variable at two. One would be the headers. Two is going to be the second row, which is going to have our first value in it. I'm going to change the name of this from new variable to row number starting off at row number two. With that, I now tell it I want to loop. I want to loop over every row inside of my Excel document. So for each and the value I'm going to iterate over is going to be my Excel data table. Click on select, store the information. Um, yeah, okay, I'll call it instead of current item, I'll call it current trip, shall we? Click save. Everything I put in here is now going to be iterated over. So the first thing I would like to do is I would like to fill in this Excel document data into my web browser. So to do that, I'm going to go down and this time I want to go to my browser automation. I've got two sections, web extraction, web filling. So I want to fill in some data. So I'm going to go down to populate text. Next, drop that one in there. The UI element I want to drop into, I don't have any stored, so I'm going to click on Add UI Element. And in here, holding control, I can capture the information I want to populate. I want to populate the from, I want to populate the to, I want to go to the next page. I'll put in some dummy data. Let's go to Manchester and we'll head on down to London. And then I also want to capture the button. I'm going to click on go to go to the next page. Then in here, I can see the data that's been brought back. So I want to capture the 66 pounds and the off peak, except you can't do it in this mode. It's not done in this UI mode. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. Click on done. If you would like to rename any of these, if I cancel out there, over on the right hand side, you'll see I've got U elements. You'll see I've got UI elements. I'm going to go in here. Don't really need to rename the web page, but I will rename the search. So if I right click on rename, you'll see it's previewing what I'm looking at. So this is where we're leaving from. And then this one is our, going to be our destination. 
And then the last thing I had on there was my go button. So I'll rename that to search. So we've now got the information that we want to populate. So I'm going to go populate text, put that into my for each. The UI element that I'm looking for is my leaving destination. Select that. And the text I want to put into it is my current trip. Now, current trip is a data row. I don't want to pass in the entire row. Instead, I want this first cell. So next to current row, inside of percentage signs, I'm going to do square bracket, zero square bracket. Zero references the first column, or in this case, first item in an array. I'm going to click save on there. And then I can go here, right click, and I can duplicate this. I can go here, right click, choose copy. And then I'm going to paste it underneath. I'm going to change my second one. The second one doesn't want to paste into the leave. It wants to paste into the destination. And it doesn't want the first item in the list. It wants the second. Remember, it's always one less than you think. Click on save. Final thing I want to do on this particular web page is go to the next page. So I'm going to go to my web form filling, press button on the web page, and the button that I want them to click on is my search. Give that a save. This will have taken me through to the next page, and now I want to capture the data. Instead of web form filling, we're going to go to web data extraction, I want to extract data from a web page. To capture the information, I want a page in the four. So if I switch back over to my browser, you'll see when I hover over the top now, it's telling me what I'm capturing. I'm going to go for my data label, right click and extract the text value, 66 pounds. I'm going to do the same thing for my off peak, right click, extract the element. And from the element, I want the text box. Once you've done that, you can click finish on your web browser and that'll take you back through the data. Click save. I now want to paste this information into my Excel document. So instead of browser automation, I'm going to go down to my write to Excel worksheet, add that in. Which worksheet do I want? Well, just the initial one that I had open. The value that I want to write, I want to paste in my data from the web page. Right mode is my specified cell. The column that I want to paste into is column three. And the row that I want to paste into is the one inside of my row number variable. click save. If I was to leave my row number variable as is, it's going to continue to overwrite that cell. So I'm going to go up to variables and I'm going to put in my increase variable. I want to increase my row number variable by one. And then finally, what we want to do is return to the previous page. So I'm going to go down to my Browser automation, go to web page, not to a URL, but back page. Give that a save. And then when you're happy with that, give it a run. So the first thing it does is open up the web browser. Then it on opens up a copy of Excel, loading that. It's filling in the details, going to the next page, copying it, and moving down. Now everything seems to be running absolutely fine, but the data isn't always loading. This is a problem being caused by the page not actually finishing loading before Power Automate Desktop is copying the data. Nice easy fix, what we're going to do is we're going to tell the page to wait until it's fully loaded, until it tries to copy the data. So if I just cancel this, go back in and down to browser automation. And I'm gonna grab the wait for page content. I can choose from a variety of different elements. 
I'm going to wait until the go button on the previous page is gone. So not contain the element. The element I don't want it to contain is the go keyword. Select, click on save. And this time when we run it, same steps, open the browser, open Excel, read the Excel data, populate the first row, paste it in, click on go, and now the page has loaded, so you'll notice that the data gets correctly pasted in. All this would take to pull out even more information would be for you to sit there and capture all the different UI elements. I hope you've found this short useful. Do let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd specifically like to see. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.